ओके ओके सो हाई इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स इवनिंग एवरी बडी बचे इवनिंग एवरी बडी वी मीट अगेन वी मीट अगेन एंड लेट एस स्टार्ट लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द पैथोलॉजी डिस्कशन ऑफ द रिकॉल क्वेश्चन जस्ट अस एक लेट मी सी इफ एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन ओके ओके सो आई गेस वी नो इच अदर प्रेडी वेल एम डॉक्टर सुशांत सोनी एम बी बी एस मैम सी एम डी पैथोलॉजी रेजिडेंट हिमाट ऑनकोलॉजी एम्स दिल्ली सो लेट एस स्टार्ट लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द नीट पी जी पैथोलॉजी रिकॉल क्वेश्चन स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट वन स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड फ्यू क्वेश्चन देखो वन थिंग इज एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ यू आर एबल टू हियर एंड सी मी प्रॉपरली so that i'll know perfect so let us start let us start with our first question benzene exposure was associated with which blood cancer benzene exposure benzene exposure it is associated it is benzene exposure is associated with which malignancy perfect perfect it is most commonly associated with leukemias that is it is associated with blood cancer perfect so shuru mein there was slight technical error let us quickly have a look at this discussion it is associated with blood cancer in the paper many students confused benzene with benzidine which a benzidine is the one benzidine and two naphthylamine which are the ones associated with bladder cancer i am here not only to tell you that this was the question and this this is the answer associated no the paper the previous five papers dekho char aims ke paper hue four aims paper every mid year aims november aims four aims paper and the previous neat pg topics are repeated there were about 22 questions from pathology out of which 15 to 16 were from repeat topics so it is not only about knowing ki ye question hai aur iska ye answer hai nahi you need to have slight more information about the same next point next point aflatoxins aflatoxins are associated with liver cancer that is hcc hepatocellular carcinoma hcc nitrosa nitrosa means esophagus and stomach asbestos very important most common malignancy associated with asbestos is adenocarcinoma lung versus most specific malignancy with asbestos is being mesothelioma most specific being mesothelioma vinyl chloride this was the fmg exam question also last time vinyl chloride which is associated with angiosarcoma ne bache i know i know many students in this question confused between benzene and benzidine i know this as a fact benzene pucha gaya tha blood cancer benzidine is associated with blood cancer next point next point this gets us to our next question ye to bahut straight forward tha a young female uh, 34 years is considered as a young female only fair enough a young female presented to the opd with migratory polyarthritis with presence of a pansystolic murmur apna diagnosis to yahi ban gaya tha diagnosis was made with migratory polyarthritis with pansystolic murmur eco shows mitral regurgitation biopsy was also provided this was the biopsy image this was the biopsy image which was shown you are very clearly able to make out that this is the normal cardiac muscle what we see on the side is the normal cardiac muscle and it is associated with focal distinctive inflammation in the heart this presence of focal distinctive inflammation in the heart that is called as ash of body that is an ash of body which is the diagnostic cell of an ash of body and tishka cells or caterpillar cells so in suppose in the next exam you make a diagnosis of ash of body and an arrow is put on any cell do not apply your mind at all whether it is ash of giant cell t cell b cell nothing simply close your eyes and mark it as and tishka cells or caterpillar cells so diagnosis diagnosis in this case was rhd the other options that were given were infective endocarditis and stuff tanveer bache very nice i mean <laughs> think of it the other way round you worked hard that is why you found the paper comfortable had it been the other way round had it been the other way round your life would have been screwed up so actually be thankful dost hard work has never killed anybody it is big bsts better safe than sorry better safe than sorry and the paper actually yes it was sort of comfortable but mujhe bahut dukh hai ki tumhe mehnat karni padi tanveer for the others for the others bache uh, come back 
next point next point this gets us to the next question that is uh, 18 year old uh, 18 year old male presented to the opd now this is a good question this is actually this these are the kind of tricky questions that that loses marks a uh, 18 year old male presented to the opd with gum bleeding low tlc and low platelet count gum bleeding can be attributed to low platelet count also now general examination is unremarkable the patient has low retic count so he is a case of pancytopenia there is anemia the patient is presenting to you exam bache the questions were tricky with respect to pathology the questions were sort of okay and straight forward but let us have a look at this one let us have a look at this one what will you go for in this case examiner is telling you that the patient has pancytopenia all three all three are associated with pancytopenia aplastic anemia mds and pnh all three are associated with pancytopenia this was a similar question in which was asked in the ini exam also pnh can progress to all except so pnh can progress to aplastic anemia and vice versa all three are the causes of pancytopenia most commonly however mds and pnh are associated with hypercellular marrow mds and pnh most commonly most commonly have a hypercellular marrow whereas aplastic anemia has a hypocellular marrow now if it was a case of mds if the examiner wanted you to point to wanted to point you towards mds he would have mentioned the presence of dysplastic cells in the bone marrow he would have mentioned dysplastic cells in bone marrow that is not mentioned so mds is a lower down dd next point pnh is a hemo is a hemolytic anemia associated with a high retic count so pnh was out what is left by default is aplastic anemia making the diagnosis making the diagnosis as a i know sasha bache the i paper question also had fatty streaks sabeshi fair enough those fair enough uh, corby it was not a case of pnh it was the diagnosis in this case was aplastic anemia pnh can progress to aplastic anemia firstly but the best answer in this case is aplastic anemia next pnh most commonly has a hypercellular marrow here there is presence of absent megakaryocytes in peripheral smear the in absent megakaryocytes in bone marrow these are the two features which favor aplastic anemia over pnh so the best answer in this case is aplastic anemia next point next point this gets us to the next question pretty straight forward i'm sure everybody would have been right in this a uh, chronic alcoholic chronic alcoholic presents with increasing abdominal girth and intracytoplasmic eosinophilic inclusions in hepatocytes what are these intracytoplasmic eosinophilic inclusions these are the mallory hyaline these are the mallory hyaline also called as mallory tank bodies what are mallory hyaline or mallory tank bodies they are they are intermediate filaments they are intermediate filaments of cytokeratin 8 and 18 intermediate filaments of cytokeratin 8 and 18 complexed with ubiquitin so the answer was b that is these are the intermediate filaments this was the exact question for the juniors bachi you can be given an image of the same you very well know the diseases associated with mallory hyaline bodies for the fat say they are alcoholic liver disease non alcoholic fatty liver disease any fld non alcoholic fatty liver disease wilson's disease pbc primary biliary cirrhosis pbc alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency and indian childhood cirrhosis these are the diseases with mallory hyaline bodies what do they look like देखो ऑल दीज आर द हिपैटोसाइट्स ऑल दीज आर द हिपैटोसाइट्स लार्ज पॉलीगनल सेल्स विद अबंडेंट साइटोप्लाजम विद न्यूक्लियस वट यू सी हेयर इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ इंट्रा साइटोप्लाजमिक यूजिनोफिलिक इंक्लूजन्स इंट्रा साइटोप्लाजमिक यूजिनोफिलिक इंक्लूजन्स कॉल्ड एज मेलरी हेलिन बॉडीज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज मेलरी हेलिन बॉडीज दे आर एबसेंट इन स्टेज थ्री ऑफ एल्कोहलिक लिवर डिजीज that is they are absent in lenac cirrhosis these are the other questions with mallory hyaline bodies this was a straight forward one they are intermediate filaments next question next question this gets us this gets us uh, jyoti bache blood cancer jyoti i'll go back to the first slide this was the first question that we did uh, benzene is associated with blood cancer benzidine is associated with bladder cancer so uh, 
do not get confused between the two next point next point this gets us to the next question this gets us to the next question very straightforward patient is presenting to the opd with fatigue tiredness lymphadenopathy the lymph node shows diffuse effacement of the lymph node architecture by cd10 positive cells and it is bcl2 positive there are three bcl bcl1 bcl1 mantle cell lymphoma bcl1 mantle cell lymphoma bcl2 follicular lymphoma bcl2 follicular lymphoma versus bcl6 that is dlbc diffuse large b cell lymphoma dlbcl next point now please note please note both follicular lymphoma and dlbcl both of these are bcl2 and bcl6 positive follicular lymphoma can also be bcl6 positive dlbcl can also be bcl2 positive but bcl2 is more common with follicular bcl6 with dlbcl next point tell me the markers also follicular lymphoma is also cd10 positive so is dlbcl i am laying so much stress on this because the next question then in the next paper can the chances of dlbcl being asked are very high they are very very high this question was straightforward diagnosis follicular lymphoma but this is how the next question is made so chances of dlbcl being asked in the next paper are high next point next point how do we diagnose mantle cell lymphoma it is cd5 positive cd5 positive cd23 negative this was mantle this was mantle next point buckets agreed bache agreed so uh, how can it be aplastic nahi bache there are fatty streaks in bone marrow sanskriti i'll go back to your question you are talking about this question you are talking about this you have just told me that the examiner also showed the told you that there are fatty streaks in bone marrow this further proves that it is a diagnosis of aplastic anemia because what is aplastic anemia it has bone marrow cellularity of less than 25% what is aplastic anemia bone marrow cellularity of less than 25% so all the remaining cells are fat only all the remaining is fat only next point there was low tlc and low platelet count tlc and platelet count were not normal bache next next this gets us to our next question this was i guess last to last year two two and a half years ago also the same question was asked a female a female engineer who is more on junk food less fruits and vegetables hemoglobin is low mcv is high i mean this is a standard question even asked in the fmg segment also mcv is high that is it is a case of megaloblastic anemia the patient is taking vegetarian diet less fruits and vegetables which is the most common anemia dekho option b to bilkul galat ho gaya both folic acid and vitamin b12 deficiency are associated with megaloblastic anemia both of these are associated but which is more common vitamin b12 deficiency making the answer as 3 making the answer as 3 next next this gets us to the next question now this was again tricky poor prognostic marker in multiple myeloma is we saw this in oncohemat blood cancers we even saw this in the chapter neoplasia while making a list of immunohistochemistries beta 2 microglobulins increased levels are associated with poor prognosis but i am very curious which are the other poor prognostic markers in multiple myeloma which itna straight forward question nahi tha theek hai in this case all of us got lucky that we marked it as beta 2 microglobulinemia beta 2 microglobulins poor prognosis but but these two are also the poor prognostic markers associated with multiple myeloma all three options given in question are poor prognostic markers most significant most significant is most significant is beta 2 microglobulins making the answer as 3 next point next point uh ha bache junk food and no vegetables see in a case of megaloblastic anemia in a case of megaloblastic anemia more common is vitamin b12 deficiency vitamin b12 stores i'll go back to this question which is vitamin b12 stores are lesser in the body so vitamin b12 deficiency is much more common isme kuch mat socho vegetarian non vegetarian bottom line hai ki she is having junk food she is not taking proper food most common anemia associated vitamin b12 deficiency i know some of you might have uh, marked it as the less fruits and vegetables na bache i know some of you might have marked it as folic acid deficiency so you are slightly pushing for that answer 
बट नहीं प्लीज 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 मार्क इट एज वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व डिफिशियंसी ओनली नो डाउट अबाउट इट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट फॉर द फ्यूचर फॉर द फ्यूचर एनदर पॉइंट दैट इज दैट इज फॉर द नेक्स्ट पेपर दैट इज फॉर द जूनियर्स I mean cytogenetic abnormalities associated with multiple myeloma. बहुत important है बहुत ही important है We will not be astonished if we get a get the next level of question from cytogenetic abnormalities. It these are the prognostic markers in this sequence: high beta two microglobulin, advanced stage hypercalcemia, renal failure, and plasma cell leukemia. Presence of presence of plasma cells in peripheral smear. more than 20% plasma cells more than 20% plasma cells in peripheral smear makes it as plasma cell leukemia all these are the poor prognostic markers out of this the best poor prognostic marker in multiple myeloma is beta 2 microglobulins next question next question tocilizumab acts against i guess this was the only covid related question it acts against interleukin 6 I mean, COVID-related in the sense that there was no direct question on COVID-19, but tocilizumab. Whenever we discussed about interleukin six, what is the what are the other rules? It is the second most potent pyrogen. Second most potent pyrogen. It is the main cytokine associated with multiple myeloma. Increased levels are poor prognosis in COVID-19, and it is also associated with which other malignancy? Interleukin six has these four rules. it is also it is the main cytokine associated with it is the main cytokine associated with cholangiocarcinoma associated with malignancy of the biliary tract that is cholangiocarcinoma cholangiocarcinoma next point uh with respect to uh, last option was interleukin 12 theek hai bache fair enough fair enough now i know uh, there is slight controversy with respect to that software engineer girl so um, as usual i mean girls who are software engineers there are uh, controversies associated theek hai what we'll do is i'll be really glad if somebody can send me the exact question of the same the exact language and we will revisit this question no doubt about it next point next point this gets us to our next one this gets us to the next one we saw this acha one more thing for all the juniors all the juniors especially which we i did the analysis of the whole neat pg exam 12 questions of path were discussed in that session also please do have a look at the analysis of the neat pg paper it was done today only at 2:30 pm i am saying so because every time an analysis is made we did the same thing in ini same thing with respect to neat pg it helps you in the future papers please do have a look at that session also now patient typically same agreed bache saveshi totally agreed totally totally agreed patient with medicinal mass diagnosed with prca pure red cell aplasia rather recently also we had covered a question in which the patient in which the patient's hemoglobin was low TLC and platelet count were normal. We I we did an integrated question on the same. TLC and platelet count were normal. TLC and platelet count were normal. Bone marrow shows reduced erythrocyte precursors. Megakaryocytic and myeloid series were normal. That was the question that we made, and I told you that the diagnosis in that case was PRCA. Then the question was exact. Examiner simply wrote it as PRCA, and the most probable diagnosis that is thymoma. PRCA PRCA is associated with thymomas next point next point this gets us uh uh grand path revisions so ru bache everything is there everything is there on my telegram group matlab all the links everything you simply need to type sushan soni pathology like my name is sushan soni na so simply need, need to type sushan soni pathology and uh, it will come up all the links are there next HNPCC. This is a topic that you know. Previous four papers, I'm discussing it in detail every time. Your last year NEET PG had a question on five-year child, five-year child with bleeding per rectum. An image was given that was juvenile polyposis syndrome. This was last year NEET PG. Your this INI exam had a question on Peutz Jäger syndrome. An image was given. FMG exam had an image on tubulo villus adenoma. so previous one year only you had three questions from this topic there are two pathways of colon cancer adenoma carcinoma pathway 
that is which progresses to FAP, familial adenomatous polyposis. Last year, FMG1, that was asked. FAP, gene mutation associated APC present on chromosome 5. And the next pathway is DNA mismatch repair path pathway. Next is the DNA, DNA mismatch repair pathway, DNA mismatch repair pathway, also called as the MSI, microsatellite instability pathway, which is associated with HNPCC, hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer. Next point, next point. So a straightforward question, repeated topic in every paper, DNA mismatch repair or the MSI pathway. Now, now this gets us on the next question that is what I have been told is there were two questions on vasculitis. I just have one question with me and it was straightforward. What, uh, what it showed was weak pulses in upper limb, low BP and retinal hemorrhage. Which is the minute we see the presence of weak pulses, pulses are weak or absent pulses. That is tuk tuk are the pulses, Takayasu syndrome. Takayasu, Takayasu syndrome. Most common vessel affected in Takayasu syndrome. So, uh, Asha, the second question was temporal, giant cell arthritis. The second question was on giant cell arthritis. I will be glad if you can share the question. Giant cell arthritis, elderly with thick, palpable, tender temporal artery. That is what we classically called as giant cell arthritis. Age group more than 50 years, thick, tender, palpable temporal artery involvement. It is also associated with ophthalmitis as a result of which it is it can lead to sudden blindness so it is a medical emergency it is a large vessel vasculitis perfect if that was the question both giant cell and takayasu both of these are large vessel vasculitis both of these are granulomatous in nature both of these are granulomatous in nature first line therapy steroids first line therapy steroids first class First class these were the two questions which came on vasculitis next next this gets us to the next question it was again a written question child showing the presence of flexner winter strainer pseudorosets now examiner could have given an image of the same also last year neat pg you had an image of neuroblastoma so what is the diagnosis flexner winter strainer uh, flexner winter strainer pseudorosets retinoblastoma it is associated with retinoblastoma so so let us have a look let us quickly have a look at the two types of rosettes which are important what is a rosette what is a rosette it is a round arrangement of cells what is a rosette it is a round arrangement of cells if we have the presence of a central empty lumen please note agar central empty lumen hai, then it is a true rosette if we have the presence of a central lumen not a blood vessel then it is a true rosette anything other than a central lumen is a pseudo rosette so homerite pseudo rosettes they have the presence of a central neuropel dekho dekho have a look at this yes i'll sort of i'll share this pdf i'll certainly share this pdf because again this is an important prospective question and a good important slide pehle pseudo rosette se shuru karte hain let us first start with pseudo rosettes. Let us first start with pseudo rosettes. In a pseudo rosette, this is the round arrangement of cells. You are able to make out that these are the small round cells which are present in a round arrangement with a central neuropel. This is the central neuropel. Diagnosis neuroblastoma. Diagnosis neuroblastoma. This is humorite pseudo rosette. If in the center you have a central blood vessel, Perivascular pseudorosets, perivascular pseudorosets associated with ependymoma, associated with ependymoma. Flexner winter stainer rosettes seen in retinoblastoma. Next, perfect. If those, if white reflex is also given, it is also associated with white reflex that further, that further encourages us to mark it as retinoblastoma. Totally agreed. Totally, totally agreed. This was a case of neuroblastoma. This was neuroblastoma next point next point this gets us to a, such a straightforward question that i don't even know why it was asked a child presenting with edema hypercholesterolemia urine protein is 3 plus 3 plus urine protein that is it is associated with nephrotic syndrome which is the which is the diagnosis and they did not even write one of the nephrotic syndromes as mcd 
the options were nephrotic syndrome, nephritic syndrome, good pasture syndrome and stuff like that. So this was a case of nephrotic syndrome. Straightforward. Child with edema, with grade 3 proteinuria, 3 plus proteinuria, this is a case of nephrotic syndrome. Which is the most common nephrotic syndrome seen in children? That is MCD. Child presenting to you with nephrotic syndrome, we'll presume it to be a case of MCD until proven otherwise. What do we do in a child with nephrotic syndrome? What, what is the next line of therapy? Do we do a linear core biopsy and wait for the result? Wait for electron microscopy or do we start therapy? We directly start therapy. We start therapy. Perfect. Next, next. Now, this again was a question in which many students confused the answer. Please have a good look at this. Please have a good look. Now, a 50 year old male patient a 50 year old male patient complaining of fatigue for the one year there is anemia anemia with very high tlc tlc is more than one that peripheral smear shows presence of neutrophils basophil myeloblast myelocyte metamyelocyte everything is present that is peripheral smear shows a shift to left shift to left or the garden party appearance garden variety appearance that is there is presence of myeloblast promyelocyte myelo metamyelo band form neutrophil everything is there making the diagnosis as cml making the diagnosis as cml now in this question majority of the students had reached the diagnosis of cml that was not the problem problem is okay okay it was also given that the patient is suffering from massive splenomegaly along with along with high me ratio that these are the two points also given patient was suffering from massive splenomegaly massive splenomegaly with a very high myeloid to erythroid ratio of 18 is to 1. You know that the normal ME ratio is 3 to 15 is to 1. Here myeloid cells are increased. Here myeloid cells are increased. Which of the following is the best investigation? Which of the following? Fish with PCR. Okay. So then the examiner made the question easy. Which is best investigation or most sensitive, most specific, any word that is written. Flow cytometry and lab score are not performed in day-to-day -day practice. The problem would have arisen if fish and PCR were given as separate options. Then your best answer would have been fish. Then your best answer would have been fish. If examiner has written fish with PCR, then so there is absolutely no controversy at all. That is the best answer, fish with PCR. For the juniors, for the juniors, which you please stress on this, suppose you do not get with PCR written. PCR is a separate option. Then you will mark it as fish. This was the question last to last year in mid-year aims. Examiner had given you a long history of paving sarcoma, translocation as well as the fusion transcript was given. And the question that was asked was, investigation of choice to detect this fusion transcript is fish. Investigation of choice of fusion transcripts is fish. Immunophenotyping, we do not perform flow cytometry. By immunophenotyping is performed by flow cytometry. So immunophenotyping or flow cytometry is not performed in CML. For CLL, investigation of choice is flow cytometry. Perfect. So remember, Two years ago, there was another question. All of the following investigations are useful in MPN except flow cytometry. We do not use flow cytometry in any of the myeloproliferative neoplasms. There are four MPN. There are four MPN, CML, PV, polycythemia vera, ET, essential thrombocytosis and PMF, primary myelofibrosis. There are four MPN. Neither of the MPN, CML, PV, ET, PMF, flow cytometry is not indicated. Next point. Next point. Uh, this was just a question for the prospective one. Fish for BCR APL. So what you are able to see here is normally there should be two red. Normally, normally there should be two red, two green. What we have done is suppose I went to the market and said, "Ki bhaiya, give me green color for BCR, red for APL." I can take any color. Red and green are the most common. Normally, I should see two red and two green. If I am able to see the presence of a third color, that is yellow color, that means translocation has occurred. Translocation has occurred. This is BCR ABL positive. Next point. Next point. Achha, before we go further, bache, everybody, everybody, how many questions did you attempt? 
though we discussed it in the previous session also but देखो what what is done is done as medicos though we will never be peaceful until we dissect the paper until we see where we went wrong or whatever so in this paper in this attempting approximately 185 to 190 questions minimum 185 questions would have been a must paper was comparatively on moderate side you guys had prepared well you had more time paper was on moderate side cut off sub going to be huge perfect i mean i am actually i am actually happy with the number of attempts no doubt absolutely no doubt next next come back to this nahi bache namrata this is not a case of carcinoma dekho in this forget everything there is hyperchromatic nuclei irregular nuclear borders everything is okay everything is okay but it is involving the whole thickness of the cervix carcinoma in c2 hai na basement membrane is not breached it is involving the whole thickness of the cervix this was a case of dysplasia dysplasia remember we had put a double star while doing uh, uh but i really uh, i mean with respect to pathology i am very very satisfied with the paper there were few glitches in the sense that covid questions were not there mucor was not there anatomy was negligible we just had one question few expected topics from surgery also were not there that was the analysis which we did earlier but with respect to pathology very satisfied dysplasia dysplasia lacks invasion coming back to the mcqs coming back which it dysplasia lacks invasion it was involving the whole thickness it was involving the whole thickness so the answer was dysplasia and not carcinoma asha what you might have been telling was that the last option was carcinoma fair enough fair enough that is not the answer next point now this gets us to an important prospective question actually that is maturation index what do we mean by it fair enough it took me time to realize that no matter what you were saying so agreed agreed now now another prospective question is maturation index you know that pap smear has three cells that is superficial intermediate and parabasal cells these are the three cells maturation index opposite hota hai it is the percentage of parabasal cells to intermediate to superficial cells teen cell hai na superficial sabse upar superficial fir intermediate fir parabasal maturation index is the percentage of parabasal cells to intermediate to superficial dekho more mature the cell jitna mature hoga that is superficial cells they are the most mature they respond to estrogen intermediate cells respond to progesterone so intermediate cells will be increased in pregnancy they will be increased in pregnancy whereas parabasal cells are non hormone responsive uh prasanna bachche it is tough to comment the impact of negative marking at a score of 197 but in this paper i mean i am okay with it normally i would not have been uh, okay with uh, attempting more than 195 questions but in this paper in this paper i am comfortable with you guys doing anything more than 185 plus questions no doubt next have a look at this again please come back parabasal cells parabasal cells they are non hormone responsive they do not respond to hormones they are non hormone responsive so they will be increased post menopause they will be seen increased post menopause that is they will be associated with an atrophic smear so so this the same thing is written superficial cells are affected by estrogen intermediate by progesterone parabasal are the least mature they, they are hormone non responsive so they increase in post menopause sample next point look now but you know immuno phenotyping is not performed in cml let me write this for you this is an important prospective question dekho dekho there are four mpn there are four mpn cml chronic myeloid leukemia polycythemia vera et and pmf primary myelofibrosis in none of the mpn this was a question two years ago in aims also in none of the mpn all of the following investigations are useful in mpn except flow cytometry flow cytometry or immunophenotyping flow cytometry or or immunophenotyping is not performed in mpn 
flow cytometry or immunophenotyping is not performed. It is not performed in MPN. It is not indicative in myeloproliferative neoplasms. Done. Absolutely, absolutely done. Uh, so, Rubachi, really, really thanks for the kind words. No doubt about it. I know that, uh, I mean, the paper is done and dusted. You guys will be calculating the score. You will be listening to all the discussions and everything. Fair enough. But this is the time when you should take a break and give some time for yourself also. I mean, take out time. Take out time for yourself irrespective of how tough it seems. I mean, I have passed through this phase. I know it well that we will do something after this. One or two days we will be seeing the discussions. After that, we will watch some movie, Netflix, Amazon Prime and whatever. And then we will again be tensed. We will, we will not be relaxed till the time the result is out. That is the way the medicos are made. All I can say is, all I can say is, bestest of luck from the bottom of my heart. I know majority of you. I mean, I know many of you personally, you guys have worked very hard. You went against COVID. There was a lot of uncertainty, uncertainties. Those of you who gave the paper in close to Delhi or around Delhi or especially in North India, the rainfall was heavy, you were stuck in jams and everything. This was a paper which was given with lots of uncertainties and it was one of the toughest ones. Paper was easy, comparatively easier, but the surrounding conditions were bad. So let the lords be with us. Let the gods be with us and bestest of luck from the bottom of my heart do tell me the ranks that you get you can simply contact me on telegram that is like my name is sushant soni so simply write sushant soni pathology and i'll be very glad if you contact me on telegram for absolutely anything i'm there for you those of you who are the juniors but the batch for next the latest batch has started on 8 september there are additional discounts, additional months and stuff. You can use the code PATHOUA, PATHO and Academy for the same. Uh, cutoff. Bache Ayush. Cutoff is going to rise. It is going to rise. Let us let me have a talk with other faculties also with respect to pathology. We discussed 22 questions. Out of which I how many questions were you write in? How many questions were you write in? Really thanks those. Out of these 22 questions, 19, 19 to 20, they could thoda to coffee students cover. Many students went wrong with this benzene and they confused it with benzidine. Many of you went wrong in that uh, aplastic anemia versus PNH also. So, but out of out of these, out of these, I want the rankers to be right or let me rephrase approximately 18 to 19 questions right that is my analysis of the same done hai absolutely done hai. we will be meeting again we'll be talking as such it can be a non-academic talk also so take care take care and bestest of luck thank you